Good morning, my sweet. Now that you don't have to get up for work anymore, there's no way you could set the alarm a little later. Or not at all, even. Old habits die hard. You know what they say? You can take the teacher out of the school, but you can't take the school out of the teacher. Besides, big day today. I'm surprised you could sleep at all. Oh. Central heating. Off. Hot water. Off. Electrical appliances. Off. Bar two lights and radio on timer for the sake of security. Mm -hmm. Neighbours informed so far. The Clarksons and the Husseins. The neighbours still to be informed. The Donalds and the O'Briens. Well, we're getting there, my sweet, we're getting there. Final checks, then Australasia, here we come. Hmm? Just think this time tomorrow we shall probably be somewhere over Indonesia. Headwinds and jet streams permitting, of course. You haven't forgotten my appointment at the mill, have you? Um, no. No, no, no. O nine thirty five Cecily to Cardiovascular Clinic. Now, don't forget to ask the nurse to give you a written summary of your condition. It's just high blood pressure. Oh, Cecily, my sweet. This isn't just a shopping trip to Birmingham. We are travelling halfway round the world. We'll experience heat, humidity and changes in cabin pressure. Hmm? Oh, we need to be prepared. You see, a written summation of a life-threatening condition doesn't seem too much to ask, does it? No, dear. Now, um, oh, you might like to get it laminated in that shop on the high street. Uh, in an emergency, it'd be no use if it was all damp and grumpled. But uh, if it's small, you could wear it round your neck. On a lanyard. Good morning, everybody. Oh, morning. 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 Uh, you might like to have a look at this. I found it online. I give you these on the plane. Why would I need it now? Forewarned is forearmed, especially in the emergencies. And you are prone to get a little confused, aren't you, my sweet? Uh, on the subject of which, you never did give me an answer about the 17th. The 17th? Well, you know. The free warning we have in Wellington. Now, we can either go to the Te Papa Museum, or we can take a cruise around the harbour. And I've got to go. Well, while it's over, the sooner we decide, the better. And don't forget your written summary. Uh. Hello, you seem in a good mood this morning. Hmm. That's because I've made a decision. The whole business with Sam, it upset me much more than I was expecting, much more. I felt so powerless. Well, the disease like that, there's not much anyone can do. Oh, that's where you're wrong. See, that hospice made such a difference to those children. And at Meadow Valley, they were treated with understanding by people who had time for them. And when it closed, and they were shoved off into those adult wards, it was awful. Those children being bundled off because of a leaky roof. So yesterday, I decided that that's what I could do for Sam and all those children. Fix the roof? Why not? People are always raising money for this and that. Oh, Cecily, not you again. What is it? I had so much fun last time, you couldn't keep away. Seriously, though, I thought we said you were okay. You know, your blood pressure was down, you've been exercising. It's gone up again. I, I can feel it. Yeah, well, we'll soon see about that. Come on. And uh, what with going away? Well, that's the best cure for anything, that. If only we could prescribe holidays, eh? So, you're off to Australia today, then? Mm, and New Zealand. For seven weeks to celebrate Eric's retirement. Oh, that's fantastic. Our itinerary is centred around sites of geological interest. Eric taught geography, you see. Mm, for seven weeks, though, that's a lot of rocks. Well, Eric's very thorough. <laughs> but I was worried about my blood pressure. Hey, it's normal. It's well within what will be considered healthy. But with the deep vein thrombosis, uh, it's a very long flight. Well, you're at no bigger risk than anybody else your age. You know, as long as you get some compression socks, keep moving your feet about, keep taking little strolls up and down the cabin, you've got nothing to worry about. But what about the heat when we get there? Uh, and the humidity? 
Well, again, you know, just sensible precaution. Don't overdo it. Keep out of direct sunlight, especially in the middle of the daytime. Drink plenty of fluids. You'll be absolutely fine. Right. Hey, a long relaxing break will do wonders for your blood pressure. Right. If it's actually your blood pressure that's worrying you. Oh, that's why I came. I think it's a fantastic idea, I really do. Well, Sam was very special. It's the least I could do for him. Well, good for you. Is this about Meadow Valley? Michelle's just told me. I think it's a wonderful idea. It's absolutely appalling they closed that place down. If you can get it back up and running, I think that would be an amazing thing to do. <laughs> now, look, if there's anything I can do to help you, let me know, OK? Thank you. Well, you make it sound like five years at Her Majesty's pleasure. But it's this blood pressure thing. It's a worry, isn't it? With all the heat and the flying and whatnot. Look, the last three times you've been here, I've sent you away with a clean bill of health, right? Yet you've come back insisting that you're not well, specifically not well enough to take this trip. It's almost like you're looking for a way out of it, a sick note. And you keep mentioning this flight. I mean, is that what's worrying you? Well, I... I've been feeling very anxious these last few weeks. Not myself. But I, I've flown before without any problems. I'm not a neurotic, am I? It's very common. All right, flying can be a really stressful thing. I was worried I was losing my marbles. I've been feeling sick every morning, and whenever I look at anything to do with this blessed flight, I feel like screaming. There you are. We can't let a little thing like that spoil your holiday, can we? All right, Dr Woodson's your GP, yeah? yeah. I'll right, we'll see if she can fit you in today. Just tell her how you're feeling, and I'm sure she'll be able to give you something to make the flight a lot easier. But with the change in the cabin pressure... Cecily, your BP is no higher than mine, all right? If you mention it again, I will steal your ticket and get on that flight myself. <sighs> all right? I'm not so sure you and my Eric would get on. Do you have much of an interest in geological phenomena? Mm. <laughs> I'll just give Dr Woodson a ring and see if she can see you while you're here. Everything OK, my sweet? Yes, dear. And the summary of your condition? I haven't got one. Oh, Cecily. Look, I know there's a lot to do, but really... A was... condition. Nurse says my blood pressure's normal. But what about your symptoms? He thinks I might be anxious about the flight. But that's ridiculous. You've flown before. I don't know. Doctors these days, they all want to be psychiatrists, don't they? Dr Woodson's prescribed me something for the flight. <laughs> Happy pills. It's all how you feel on this aphobia. Nothing is a real illness anymore. Still, I'm sure they have excellent doctors down under, should anything go wrong. And our insurance policy is pretty comprehensive. A comparative study I did of seven consumer groups uh, puts it head and shoulders above the others. Anxiety? Well, something to be upset about. It's a holiday. No, but work was difficult. There's nothing difficult about a holiday. Now, I've made a, an inventory. Cecily, clothing. I've left you a little leeway for your uh, <laughs> under things uh, and, and so on. But don't go crazy. Space is at a premium. The initial target is 50,000. But if we can raise more than that, we could tackle more of Meadow Valley's problems. The roof is obviously most pressing, but there are many, many things that need attention. Good for you. Just seemed the right thing to do. It's not the sort of thing I usually go in for, but... Uh... Well, I was really surprised when I heard. Oh, no, what I mean is, you know, when you're raising money for something like a kid's hospice, most people will give money and say, oh, I can't believe it's been allowed to close, but unless anybody actually starts an appeal, then no one's any the wiser. Places like Meadow Valley close all the time and most people don't lift a finger. I'm dead impressed. Archie, uh, it's Cecily Langer. Um, it's about these pills Dr Woodson gave me. Uh, diazepam. Diazepam. Mm. Are, are they dangerous? Not if you take them as instructed, no. Will they make me ill? No, Cecily, a bit woozy at first, maybe, but you are just taking them for the flight, right? What if I take too many? Oh, any medication can be dangerous if you stray from the recommended dose. What if they make me woozy and then I feel anxious and I take another one too soon. Well, you should definitely stick to what Dr Woodson said, but... I suppose a little accidental overlap won't do anything worse than make you sleepy. Oh. 
But you'll have Eric, won't you? What about Eric? Well, he can help you stick to the recommended dose. He seems like the organised type. I suppose so. Look, Cecily, relax, all right? Just follow your doctor's instructions. The flight will be over and then it'll be seven weeks of sun, sea and... Well, just you and your husband. I know, I know. Um... Thanks, Archie. I'm sorry. Don't be. A little retirement present to myself. I bet the staff from crew wouldn't recognise me if they saw me like this. I'm sure. Now, in just under two hours, we shall be getting the coach to Gatwick. And once we're through the gate, we will be seven weeks with the entire continent of Australasia as our playground. Just think, for the first time in 40 years, there'll be no one but you and me. That's quite a response you get. Everyone's talking about it. There's certainly been a lot of enthusiasm. You must be pleased. I am. For Sam. It's a little too late, as far as he's concerned, but uh, if some good comes out of it, that's not a bad thing. Do I detect a newfound positivity? Well, it's the least I can do. Well, I think it's great. We could do with a lot more of that sort of thinking around here. <laughs> can I help you? Look, if it's an emergency, you should call 999. I'm, I'm a nurse and... Please, Archie, as a favour to me. It's not right. Why, what's happened? Cecily. Hello? Hello? Cecily? Cecily, it's Archie. Um, well, when I was at university, people would do the craziest things to raise money. Um, uh, pram races, three-legged races, Pub crawls, sponsored eating Olympics. Eating Olympics. They used to get these huge industrial sized tubs of ravioli and people would be sponsored to see how much they could eat in five minutes. <laughs> it would help if you were very drunk. I was disgusting. <laughs> They'd be sick and ravioli everywhere. Uh, I'm not sure that's <laughs> the sort of thing to raise money for a children's hospice. Well, the thing that raised the most money at our school fates was paying liquid to chuck sponge at the teachers. Yes, you could get local celebrities to help out. I'm not sure that's realistic. Well, how about the staff here, then? You wouldn't mind having a few sponges chucked at you, would you, Vivian? <sighs> Eric. Eric, can you hear me? Eric! Oh! 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 oh. Oh. I thought you might like this. Oh, you have no idea. Thank you. <laughs> you okay? Yes, fine. It's just certain people are, are trying to turn the Meadow Valley appeal into some sort of debauched student prank. Oh, I'm not a killjoy. But this is supposed to be a memorial for Sam, that's all. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, it, it should be dignified. Exactly. I've got a couple of ideas myself, if you're interested. Please. OK. Um, right. Family fun day. Um, Five-a-side football tournament. Had them in the past. Always been very successful. And they're pretty easy to organise. Pro-celebrity golf day. Now, I could make a couple of calls to some of Mac's old golfing buddies. I could have that up and running. And no, have thank you, Julia. But no. There's obviously a fine line between make some suggestions and march right in and take over. My mistake. Oh! Cecily! Where are you? Cecily, what... Who are you? I'm Archie Hallam, Mr Langer, from the mill. 
Well, is there a problem? Well, where's Cecily? Well, we can't miss our flight. Is he all right? How many did you give him? Oh, no. It was an accident. I, I, I gave him the wrong cup. What? I dissolved them in the tea. How many? Two. Are you sure? Cecily! What's going on? Uh, nothing, dear. Uh, see, there was a bit of a mix-up. I, I, I was so anxious. I thought I'd take two. So uh, we had tea, and uh, then I was um, waiting for it to work. And the next thing I knew, Harry could nod it off. Pills, indeed. You'd lose your head if it wasn't screwed on. So why did you go out? Well, I panicked. I, I thought I'd killed him. Oh, she's easily <laughs> confused. Is that the time? <laughs> if it was an accident, why leave the note? Our, our flight, we're never going to make it. Cecily. Well, we missed our flights. I mean, how could this happen? <laughs> Julia can just be a bit, you know, enthusiastic, that's all. You should have heard her. It was all me this and my that. This is supposed to be something I do for Sam. What if she got a bit carried away? She was probably just trying to help. Help? There's help and there's ruthless hijacking. What did you say to her? Uh, nothing. What are you implying? Well, it's just that you're not always the most tactful person and she was quite upset. Yes, well, I was upset too. Everyone's been so positive, but it turns out that all they wanted was a good laugh or to completely take over. Well, maybe I should just forget about the whole thing. Don't you dare. You can't give up at the first hurdle. That's why Julia's not going to be interested now, now that I've upset her. Nonsense. If you want her to be involved, give her something to do, something specific, and that way she can't take over. She'll be thrilled. But if I've offended her... She'll understand we all do. You care about Sam. You're bound to be a bit spiky about it. Really? Really? Just go and talk to her. But this time, be gentle. <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. You can't just drug people, Cecily. I didn't. I didn't mean to. It's stupid, right? It's stupid and it's dangerous. He's going to be all right, isn't he? Technically assault. I should call the police. <laughs> Accident. I, I, I gave him the wrong cup. Then why leave the note? He ran right away. The airline haven't got any more flights uh, today. There's one tomorrow. There's a, a surcharge to pay. It's typical. What's going on? Oh, she's got to call the police. Huh? Why? He says I assaulted you with the pills. That's ridiculous. Yeah. It was an accident. Was it, Cecily? Yes. Well, of course it was. And why on earth would you want to involve the police? Well, I have to if she did it deliberately. Well, of course she didn't. Well, she says so. And I, the supposed victim, say so too. Take the pills with you. If you're worried, I'll do it again. I don't want them. Not now. There. Well, really? Why on earth would Cecily deliberately want to drug me? Today, of all days. I'll leave you two to it. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Archie. Why did you do it? What were you trying to achieve? Uh, it was an accident, I swear. Then why apologise? I mean... For all of it, for dragging you out here, all the bother. Well, as long as everyone's OK and you're more careful in future. I will be. I promise I will. All right. Well, enjoy your trip. Thanks, Archie. I don't know... What we're going to do with you, my sweet? What? Well, I mean, really. I, I've been drugged. We've missed our flights. And we've very nearly been the subject of a police investigation. 
I said I'm sorry. What more do you want me to do? Well, learn from this. Hmm? Now, you see what happens without organisation, my sweet. I'm not one of your pupils, Eric. Well, that's typical of you, isn't it? Now, you, you see what happens. The, the, those pills were the one area not under my control. And what happens? I mean, what would you do if I wasn't here to help you? Well, I'm sorry if, if, if that was sharp. I'm not myself for, for, um, for obvious reasons. But missing our flights was a dreadful start to our holiday. We've lost one day, never mind the expenses. Still, I think I can rejig the itinerary and make some savings to cover the costs. Um, clothes. Uh, but obviously the ones we're wearing are listed on the inventory. You, you, you can either take some from the case or, or from somewhere else, but just let me know. So, so I can keep everything in order. Cecily! What are you doing? C Cecily! I did it! it wasn't a mix-up. I put the pills in your tea on purpose. What? I couldn't stand it any longer. This holiday, these endless preparations, just list after list after list, you're driving me mad! But the holiday, it's a fun thing for us. Fun? Planned every minute of every day. It's not a holiday. It's it's it's, it's a, a, a timetable, a curriculum, and it's not for us. It's for you, you, you. Eric. Eric, it's right, I got you. Vivian, look uh, about yeah. earlier. Mm-hmm. I, I think I might have been a bit short with you. Just a tad, perhaps? If I was, uh, I'm sorry. I was just trying to help, you know. I know you were. But I've decided to have a charity gala instead. Great. Well, good luck with that. And I was wondering if you'd take charge of ticket sales. Oh, hey, there's no, there's no need for that. No, you'd be ideal. You know the market, you're so well-connected and... Well, I'd really appreciate it. OK. Yep, you, you've got a deal. <laughs> but you've got to promise that you will tell me if at any time I appear to be taking over. Definitely. Good. Everything seems to be OK. Oh. It's probably a combination of the advisor part and uh, all the excitement. Is there any way we could have... Avoid involving the police. I've got to tell someone, you two need help. But you've got to realise that what happened today is really extreme. Right? If you let things get this out of hand, then people have to get involved. Police, counsellors. If you don't like it, then maybe you should try talking to each other like normal people. But the police won't let us go on the trip, will they? Oh, forget the stupid trip. Well, that's the least of our worries. Well, there's no point in going if we're getting on like this. Look, if you're feeling better, then uh, I should be getting back. All right. But don't worry about the police, it's just a formality. It probably won't go anywhere. And hey, look after each other, all right? What's done is done, but from now on, it's up to you what happens. I'm so sorry, dear. I'm not. I'm glad it happened. But we couldn't go on like this. When you said you felt... Uh, crushed. Well, that's exactly how I was feeling when I stopped working. Fear. I suppose it's pathetic, but I was uh, scared of all that freedom. All that emptiness. But you never said anything. Well, it's not something we talk about. I thought day after day doing nothing, it terrified me. I mean, the, the trip was a gift. Things to do. Schedules to work out and, well, people to organise. Oh, Eric. You see, I was that person for over 40 years. 
and just stopping suddenly terrified me. If, if the alarm didn't go off at 6.45 every morning, I, I, I don't think I'd know who I was. I, I, I deep, deep down, I, I knew I was driving you round the bend. But today means we can't go any longer. We've got to sort this out now. I never meant to hurt you. Or upset you, even. I know. Oh, Seth. What a pair we are. You mean couple? What a couple we are. So have you ever organised anything on this scale before? Not a search, but it can't be that hard. Oh, I don't know. Sounds like organising a wedding, but with paying guests. Well, Vivian, I've got to hand it to you. I've just made a few phone calls and everyone is keen on the whole Meadow Valley Appeal gala evening idea. Really? Absolutely. They're clamouring for tickets. But they don't know what we're going to do yet. Well, of course they do. I mean, they know the food's going to be fantastic and they know all the other guests are going to be great fun. And they know the entertainment's going to be top-notch. What's not to know? But uh, the organising of that bit? Uh, don't worry about that. I've learnt my lesson. I'm going to leave this fairly and squarely in your capable hands. So, an evening of top-notch entertainment. What can be so hard about organising that? You're in a bit of a rush to get undressed last night. <laughs> Just a bit. Ask me who's got a hot day tomorrow. Just get out of my clothes before I do something I'll really regret. So I'll get dressed now? Yes. You tell him the truth and you tell her the truth and it all ends happily ever after. A big fat zero. Quiet! Is Stephen's return to the square linked to Ian's disappearance? EastEnders tonight at 8 on BBC One. Next, a kidnapping mystery in Murder, She Wrote. I've ever wanted for my daughter. Oh, yeah? Yeah.